sit on the spring game format? Well, we hope to be able to split in half and have a real game. Mm -hmm. And we sat down this morning as a staff and looked at the depth chart and met with the medical staff. And as long as nothing changes between now and then, we think we have enough. Uh, if something was to change between now and then, then we'd go out there and just do situational scrimmages. Uh, you know, first down mm -hmm. scrimmage, a second down scrimmage, you know, red zone scrimmage. If we get out there and we st start a, a real game-like scrimmage and we run out of people, then we'll stop and get into situational scrimmages. But we think we're going to be able to go out there, uh, divide the team up, and, and, and play a game. That's our goal going into Saturday. And, and again, we got, we got just enough to do it, we think. Uh, we held some guys out today uh, that uh, were, have, were nicked up a little bit that maybe could have gone today, but we want to try to guarantee that they're there on, on Saturday. Is one of those Peter's dry? He, well, Peter's dry, I don't think he, he won't play in okay. the game on Saturday. He's going to be okay in a couple of weeks. He got a, a slight uh, shoulder separation. We've, you know, we've tried to do a really good job this spring. You know, staying healthy was a, was a big part of it, and we, we think we've done a pretty good job. We have, uh, you know, 14 guys uh, that, that are out that were out before we started spring. Right. And then we're going into the scrimmage on Saturday with the possibility of maybe three or four guys being out that got injured during the spring. Uh, one of them would be uh, Peter Stry, for example. And we don't believe he'll be ready to go on Saturday. He got injured in spring, but he'll be okay uh, in a couple of weeks. Uh, um, two or three other guys. Uh, Toruzzo, he got a shoulder right here the other day. He's not going to be ready to play in the spring game. And then uh, there's some... Uh, a question about uh, uh, Josh Davis. We held him out today, the freshman offensive lineman. We think he might be okay by Saturday. But uh, the good news is, is we have 14 guys that are out. They, they were the same guys that were out when we started spring. Same guys are still out. We have three or four more guys that might be out. And that's not many injuries to occur throughout the course of spring practice. So we've done a pretty good job from a health standpoint. We're pleased with that part of it. And then I think we've uh, become a lot more competitive in practice. I think we've practiced well the last couple of years, uh, you know, focus-wise and, and effort-wise. Uh, but sometimes I felt like we need to be more competitive in practice when we go one-on-one -on -one stuff, whether it's the little guys going in, in the passing situations or the linemen going in pass rush and pass pro or just one-on-one, -on -one, you know, knock them off the ball type drills. I think we're more competitive. And then the same goes with the blitz period. I think it's going faster and guys are going harder. I think it's more competitive. And I think that's a good sign for our team. And that was another goal that we had for our, for our spring practices. You know, one was to stay healthy. Another goal was to be more competitive when we go against each other. And I think we've done that some this spring. Uh, you know, you talk about splitting up teams. Uh, but uh, I think right now you have three defensive ends. How do you – Work three different defensive ends in this. We'll have four by Saturday. Oh, we, we think we'll have them all back. Okay, Gerald will be back Saturday, you think? Uh, I'm trying to think who they would be. He's got some other guys. He can put Brockman out there. We've got some other okay. guys we can put over there. We've okay. got, when we sat down this morning and divided them up, we had a full team with the gold and a full <laughs> team with the black, and we didn't lose anybody today. So okay. we think we're going we to okay. be okay. Being that you obviously don't want to get anybody else hurt before the spring game, what are you going to do on Friday? Are you going to kind of we're going to be in shorts anyway. Uh, the NCAA mandates we have three practices in shorts, and we've only had two. Uh, and, uh, so we'll be in shorts on Friday. And we'll come out here and polish some things up and divide the teams up a little bit. And then I'm hoping that the coaches can come out here and spend a little bit of time with their players on some drills that we would like for them to do in the off season on their own. You know, take Friday and try to lay some groundwork for some things they can do on their own in the off season. So, in a way, you know, with the lack of depth at defensive end, with those three main guys getting a lot of reps, how much is that going to benefit them huge. moving forward? I think it's huge. They've got a ton of reps. they got a lot more reps than they ever thought they would. In the meantime, people get injured or you get thin. It's always a great opportunity. We're a little bit banged up at center with dry. Uh, we think Moret's going to be okay by, by Saturday, but we held him out some today. So that allows Cody Davis, who's been working with the threes, that allows him to get a bunch of work day with the ones and twos. And he got more reps today, the scrimmage type reps going against the defense uh, than he has in probably three or four practices put together. But he got to go with the ones, and he did a great job. So you, know, you always got to be getting ready. With those defensive ends, and I apologize, I'm sure you've talked about them, but what do you like about the two redshirt freshmen specifically? Uh, they're talented, and you know normally you, you get one or two things at the end spot. You know you get a little guy that's really fast or a big guy that's kind of fast. And these guys are big guys that have really good athleticism. They have, I think, excellent size potential. And then that's not always the case at the defensive end spot. You look back over the years here at Purdue, we've had a lot of those hybrid defensive ends that had to go on later on in life and maybe play linebacker in the NFL. These guys can be big ends, and they're hard to come by. 
and they have good athleticism, and they're strong guys already. And so, and they've got great upside, talent, like the talent. With so much experience coming back on defense, what do you want the, the identity to be for your defense? Well, there's some things that we hang our hat on uh, defensively. You know, one of them is, is, is swarming to the ball. Mm -hmm. Defensive swarm. It's one of the things that we hang our hat on from a defensive uh, philosophy standpoint. And then tackling well. You know, the swarm, the tackle, and ball disruption. That's the three things that we're all about defensively. And we come out and we work hard on that. And the takeaways on defense a lot of times is a result of ball disruption. You know, so those are the three things that we hang our hat on here at Purdue from a defensive philosophy standpoint is you know, tackling, swarming to the football, and ball disruption. But I would like to see us play with – you know, the aggressive attitude. We have speed on defense. I think we have a fast back half. We're, we're fast at linebacker. We're fast in the secondary. And in my mind, we should play fast on defense and coming down downhill and hitting hard. And I've seen us do that throughout the course of the spring. I think we're a hard-hitting defense that's willing to run to the football. Uh, they do a great job with ball disruption, and we're tackling well. I think last week Lou said Ishmael looks like he's finally passed that, the injury. In high school, how has that been apparent in practice? What have you seen him doing maybe he didn't do last year? Everything. You know, it really, it really jumps out at you because he has struggled some since he came here. He's always been a good effort guy. He's a smart guy. He's a really hard worker. He was very, very fast in high school before he got hurt. He was a, a guy that qualified to go down to the 100 meters in the state of Florida as a junior. And uh, I think he ran a 10-7. I believe, you know, as a junior, and then he qualified again his senior year. Uh, so he's always been a fast guy. Uh, coming here playing football, he was a little bit stiff. He didn't have a whole lot of knee bend. Uh, he lacked some suddenness the first couple of years. I don't know what uh, the difference, you know, how it happened, but it's a, he looks like a whole different guy to me. Very fast, very sudden, very physical, a lot more confident. He looks like he's a guy that can line up and, and play and help us win. So we're excited about him. I think he can really be a difference maker for us on some of the teams next year and really ha happy that he's having some success because he's been a really hard worker and he hasn't had much success since he's been here. So I'm happy for him.